Okay, so Ghost Recon have released a new game mode for their uh, for Ghost Recon Wildlands, the last major update before they will be releasing uh, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, in regards to what I've heard about this mode, I must say that I was pretty interested to hear that hey. This might actually be something in the lines of um, the Division's survival mode. And I really enjoyed the Division's survival mode. I didn't play m enough of it. But I played, I played it decently and I liked it. And what I liked most about it was how you could choose between... Uh, player versus environment, meaning that you didn't fight other players, and the fact that you could play player versus player if you liked. Sadly, it doesn't seem like the Ubisoft Paris have done this distinction. Uh, this seems to be more like an 8-player Battle Royale. Now, when it comes to Ghost Recon and Battle Royale, I have, since the beginning, actually said that Ghost Recon Wildlands would have fitted well with the Battle Royale theme, but in a squad setting. Basically, you take any of the provinces that are currently available, you uh, deploy 10 four-man squads into one of the provinces with just pistols, and then they have to fight the environment to survive it. Alright. We'll have to collect intel to find the transmitters, but we don't know where the intel is going to be. And our inventory is empty. I mean, in a way, I'm also against the fact that they put effort into a whole new game mode. Because, to be honest, that's not really what was requested either. What was requested was... Um, I think there's a bike up ahead. And if... I do not have visuals on any other targets. Either way. I would have very much preferred that the development team had focused their their attention on stuff that Yeah, fuck this. This is battle royale. This is very much a battle royale mode. Okay, so Hot shit. You're the first one to call in. Activate more transmitters so I can pinpoint your location and get you out. All right, let's go down there then. We were lucky with our placement there. We have a crossbow, which is nice, but Again, I mean, this is a battle royale. This is 100% battle royale. You can't say this is not battle royale. I'll probably need to do some kind of melee attack to break through that barricade. The interesting thing is I don't really know how to make that. So yeah, I feel kind of sucky right now. I'm gonna stay here and... Uh, there's someone here. Looks like you need that. So we got ourselves another gun, and st I still can't break this down. I don't even know how.
But at least we took down the Unidad quickly and silently. Uh, I actually need to go into the controls. If there's... yeah, F. Fairly certain that was something I've actually tried, but no. We got some armor, some pistol bullets. How... not 9mm though. Alright, so we finished that one. Since we do have the bike, I do expect this to be less easy to hit on the bike. But, like I said, I would have preferred stuff like equipping your AI companions with guns of your choosing. Uh, stuff like that is what I would have... Is what I would have preferred. When it comes to uh, what would be in the, the last update for this game. He's gone. Let's check what he got. He actually had an L85, so that's better than what we had. Also, intelligence. Nice. Some armor. Bandages. Ammunition. Still, still just... At least we have a lot of... A lot of stuff for that now. Uh, yeah, we'll have to climb this and get up there in order to get the intelligence. But yeah, th this is Battle Royale, and not the kind of Battle Royale I would have expected to see in Ghost Recon. Alright, so next transmitter is very close, actually. It's on the other side of this uh, building. Of the building complex. When it comes to Battle Royale games, I've learned that a very simple trick is to stay in the shadows. If you can stay in the shadows, staying in the shadows is usually... Same thing with ridge lines. It's easy to say, oh, you should go up on the ridge line there. No, you are visible on the ridge lines. You should never be on the ridge lines. At this point in time, I'm not even sure there are other players around. Oh, that's the Type 95. There are actually others here. Alright, let's have a look. There were some more intelligence on the other side there. Okay, so up there. Yeah, we're not swimming, because if we swim, what will happen is we are vulnerable in case we need to defend ourselves. <sighs> so we need to get up there on the potato refinery. And uh, have a look and see if we can't uh, grab that. I just need to remember the way up. Yeah, it's this way. But like I said, I still am of the opinion that uh, this... Oh, fuck, we're detected. Oh fuck, we need to scramble to get to the intel. Okay, so we are actually bleeding. That's a nice addition. Uh, so... Healing syringe is being used. And there's a proximity mine.
Got the intel. More ammunition. And a replacement syringe. The last one is in this town. Uh, I should try and grab a car or a bike for this trip. Fuck. We're detected. Yeah, that didn't turn out so good for us. So we actually do get to be redeployed. I don't know if we get to keep our progress though. If we don't get to keep our progress, uh, then it's going to be interesting. But like I said, this game mode would have been nice at launch. It would have been nice... Okay, so yeah, we do get to keep our progress. And we even got to spawn next to our bike. The only thing we didn't get get to keep are is our gear. But on f for some ungodly reason, we get to spawn cl very close to where, where our objective is. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Very dead. But I it doesn't seem to matter if I'm dead. I mean, I may need to get go there, but I didn't actually have anything. At most, I've lost the sniper rifle. Was, no, not even the sniper rifle. At most, I've lost the motorbike. Okay, so someone managed to uh, request for the the chopper. We're going to move through through the trenches here. Without any gear, we are a fairly easy target. I'm trying to see where that fire is coming from, but it's also entirely possible that uh, those two are fighting each other, and if that's the case, I'm perfectly good with that. Alright, so we got a sniper rifle, a G28, nice. Sadly, not with the sight I might have wished for, but uh, that's a detail I can live with. I don't think he is still there. Light armor plates, let's grab some of that. I don't care about winning this, because I most likely will only play a couple of games either way. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so the estimated the area is over there. I think that guy should be heading towards the car. But I also think someone shot up that car pretty badly. So it might be a trap. The general game mode, without the survival elements that survival had, I mean, trying to hide from a snowstorm and everything, I would say that it, it, this thing also has has a bit of de lack of depth. I mean, it's, it's quite similar to the Counter-Strike Battle Royale because of that. 
What makes it interesting, however, is the respawn mechanic. I mean, just because you're dead doesn't mean you're out of the fight. Lost visual on the gap. But that doesn't really matter. Uh, I want other people to fight uh, each other before they try and fight me. Because I'm not really that good at PvP. I want this, I want this to be a PvE mode. Or, scratch that. Yeah, I want this to be a PvE mode. But I also want this mode to have been quality of life improvements that would have been... I mean... If you're going to make the last major update for Ghost Recon, I would say that um, the best you can do with it... The best you can do with it... You can, the best you can do is tr try to improve the single player campaign. Because that is what people are going to... That is what people are going to... Um, be replaying. If they are into PvP and Ghost War, then they are probably going to... Play that. I know that I'm exposing myself, but I don't really care. I want to be able to have uh, beads on whoever's trying to get the helicopter pickup. I don't think that's my bar. If it is, no, it's not. <laughs> Grenades out. Hmm, looks like I've been here before. That was very interesting. There was like three of us fighting for the same for the same thing, and I was aiming for one guy and another guy shot me. So that that's kinda interesting. But uh, I don't think a redeployment is going to help me here. I'm going to die. And I'm going to lose. But I'm still pretty much set with with I mean, if they had introduced this game mode at into breakpoint at launch. I feel this would have fit breakpoint very well. Because a lot of the mechanics that this thing is using. Oh, we. I mean, how come we ended up at fourth place when we had 20% extraction? That's the that's the thing that really should have have mattered to me. But at any rate. Doesn't matter. Um, I mean, if they introduce this at Breakpoint at launch with all the new things that Breakpoint can do, I would be like, oh, this, this is very interesting. But now I'm basically seeing development time that I would much rather have been put somewhere else. I mean, if I return to Wildlands, this is not the game mode I will be returning to Wildlands for. Rather, it will be the single-player campaign. I like the single-player campaign in Ghost Recon Wildlands. I consider the single-player campaign in Ghost Recon Wildlands to be one of Ubisoft's best single-player campaigns. In recent memory, I think I've, I consider Watch Dogs 2 to be a better story. But in the terms of between the gameplay and campaign, pretty much everything I bought for Ghost Recon, everything I bought, have been to, to further the solo experience. So that is where I would have liked the development effort for this mode to be. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice mode, it's just two, mo two years too late. This is something, if they had this in at launch, uh, this game mode would have 
sold more copies. Right now, it's just some kind of... I don't know what it is, because it's not really Battle Royale. It's more like First to the Key. Uh, because Due to the respawn mechanic, I mean, you don't... I think actually that's something they identified and felt was a good idea. Because if you, they had gone the route of, say, Battle Royale with eight players, now we were just five, but never mind. If they have gone that route, uh, they identified that since there were objectives, people would have to shoot other people while they were on the objectives, and this would have created a problem that people would just camp the objectives until they were the last man standing. So the respawn mechanic actually avoids that in quite an interesting way. But still, I would have preferred the dev time for mercenaries to be spent on quality of life for the single player campaign. Stuff like making sure you can select your your uh, weapons for the AI companions. Uh, make why not just skip dev time at all and just make stuff in the store easy, uh, uh, cheaper, like stuff like that. Because right now, I'm not even sure I'm gonna touch this game mode anymore, and that's sad. Because in a way, I find it to be both interesting and. I wouldn't say fun, because it's not really my style. If this game mode was completely 100% PvE tailored, and could have been played al sing uh, si uh, alone if, if necessary, I would not be so critical about the time spent in it. Because the thing about, say, The Division Survival, The Division's Survival was never ab about the other players. You could play it in a way that made it about the other players. But this mode can't. This mode is dependent on the other players. I mean, none of us had that many Unidad kills. I got killed by Unidad once. And the Unidad was actually quite decent opponents, but... <sighs> I'm just looking forward to Breakpoint at this point, because... When it comes to Ghost Recon Wildlands, sure, I'll be playing through the story maybe once a year, I'll keep doing that. But I would have felt so much better if they had just implemented some of the stuff we do want, like just giving our ghosts other weapons. I know this sounds like a silly request, but this is absolutely something I've been wanting from the beginning. I mean, can you imagine dressing up your entire team so... They're not only looking like dirt poor rebels or uh, on the cheap operators or uh, disgruntled veterans from the US. I mean, you can give them the look, but the guns are still like not out of style in a way for most of the kit. So, not to mention off color in some cases. But at any rate, this has been Ghost Recon Wildlands Mercenaries and a fucking whiny rant to go with it. Take care, lads.